We're back on the couch to learn more about the Stella production along with David Kramer and female lead Linnell Kennett, who plays Matty Allen, the fiancé of Orpheus. Welcome back to The Loft. We had last had you when you were talking about another big production you were on, right? Yes, that's correct. Funny yeah. That was just before West Side Story, and yes. that was a couple of months ago now. But I'm extremely happy to be back and reprising the role of Matty Allen and, and working with Mr. Kramer again. Who is Matty Allen? Matty Allen, um, a fascinating character in history, and also what was interesting for me was the, the parallels that I could draw between her life and mine in some way. Really? But um, yeah, she was an African-American uh, classically trained singer and was teaching uh, at the time when she joined the Virginia Jubilee Singers. Okay, now Orpheus in Africa is a little known story about a man, Orpheus McAdoo. Yes. It's set in the late 19th century. Tell us about the plot. Well. Orpheus McAdoo is the son of, of slaves, and he's, first, he's one of the first freedmen who gets an education, um, just like Matty Allen. And um, he joins uh, the first Jubilee Singers and then goes to Australia, sees the possibilities of introducing the old spirituals um, to the Western world or the, mm -hmm. the colonies of Queen Victoria and puts his own company together called the Virginia Jubilee Singers and they set off um, to tour Europe and it doesn't go so well in the beginning and um, he meets up with, with Lady Loch who is the wife of the governor to the Cape, Henry Loch, right. and she persuades him to come to Cape Town and they come to Cape Town not knowing what to expect in Africa uh, and are a huge success in South Africa not only in Cape Town, they actually tour South Africa wow. for two and a half years before going uh, off to Australia. Yeah. This, is, this is a true story yeah. about a big um, group of African-American singers who introduced the, um, the spiritual to, uh, to this continent and to, to Australia. Wow, what an incredible story. What drew you to the story? Well, firstly, I saw a photograph of them. Um, and I was uh, working on another musical called Guma, uh, and I was researching, um, you know, sort of the origins of Cape music and so on. And I, and I saw that there'd been this uh, visit to Cape Town by this company, and they were dressed in, you know, top hats and Victorian tailcoats, and they all looked very smart and beautiful costumes. Yeah. And I thought, now who can these people be? You know, and then I started to find out more and more about them. and. He, you know, he is, he's an impresario and a great uh, singer and, uh, and, and a, a man who, who takes on the, the world of, of, the, of Queen Victoria and, and succeeds. Wow. You, you know, he, yeah. uh, he succeeds. And, and even when things get difficult for him, he reinvents himself. Um, so it's, he's a fascinating theatrical sure, personality. Sure. Now you play opposite Aubrey Boyer, one of the, our greatest theatre actors. What's that experience been like? Gosh, you know, I knew Aubrey as a dramatic actor, obviously, but I had no yes. idea that he had such a background in musical theatre. Yeah. He was in Rent and Dream yeah. Girls. And, sings, and what a voice. Can I just say voice, they got yeah. the casting spot on with this one, but Mr. That's Kramer will probably tell you the yeah. story of how they landed with Aubrey. In yes, the do tell. And the story of how you <laughs> well, cast you know, when, when, yeah, when I When I was writing this, and because it's an American uh, company in South Africa, uh, I kept thinking, who, who do I know who's going to play this, these roles? You know, I knew Linnell, yeah. and I was writing for Linnell. I knew that she was going to be Matty Allen. Girl. But, we had done Blood Brothers together, so yeah, I was, ah. yeah. I was But I didn't know who would play um, Orpheus and, and, and some of the other roles as well, the comedic roles. Um, and the director of, um, of West Side Story, Matthew Wilde, he said to me, Have, do you know Aubrey? And I said, no, I've never heard of him. And they said, fly him down. Fly, mm. He's your guy. He's your guy. And we flew him down. He auditioned. He sang that Etta James song, At Last. Oh. At last. Mm. And, and the American accent and the acting. And he was just perfect. He's got a perfect look. Wow. He, he's got all the qualities we need. So wow. I was very, very happy to, to meet up with, with oh, all That's wonderful. Before. Now, an interesting thing we were chatting about before our interview is that this is its second run at the, at the Fugard Theatre. Yes. And it's a case of back by popular demand. It is, yes. What is it that has drawn crowds to the theatre about this Well, piece? I think people are fascinated by the story. It's so beautifully sung. Um, the the mm. singing is partly operatic. It's, it's, it's this gospel uh, choir sound, you know, from the 1890s. The sure. costumes are, are 
exquisite. I mean, these, yeah. the, what these women look like in the Victorian outfits is just beautiful. Wow. I can just say, be glad we don't have to wear corsets in today's day and age. Wow. Because <laughs> yeah. so, that so, waist training every night, oh, hey? yeah. that's good. So I think, the, you know, the look of the show, um, the, the costumes, the, the, the set design, the performances, and then this very interesting true story yes. that nobody knew about. That's incredible. Linnell, what do you love most about playing Matty Allen? Oh, wow. That's such a good question. In the second rewrite of the story, Mr. Crum has done an amazing job with the character journey. I think there's a lot more. You, you just get to see more of who she is as a person and the journey that she has with um, Orpheus McAdoo. And I think it's a beautiful coming-of-age story. Um, mm. You get to show off different sides of, of your voice. She's classically trained, and then there's the contemporary music that you sing alongside her emotional journey. But just, um, it's a fascinating look at what it would have been like to be a woman in that time. Yeah, so. yeah. See, the thing is, uh, African-American singers, you know, she was an opera singer, but she wouldn't have been able to have been employed in America. They wouldn't have got onto the stages in America. Yeah. Um, and so coming out of the colonies gave her the opportunity in Orpheus's wow. company to actually perform arias and to perform these beautiful Scottish ballads. Wow, yes. what a beautiful story. I certainly want to come see it. It's running throughout the summer season till January. So if you happen to be visiting Cape Town, pop over to the Athel Fugard Theatre and check out Orpheus in Africa. It was not disappointing. Let's head back to the kitchen with Jeannie as she decorates a cake.